conspiracy. <laughs> Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, baby. You look nice, Daddy. You look beautiful, too. Look at your hair. Good job. Thank you. Did my thing. Yeah. And you look amazing. How cute am I? Very cute. Mm. Be safe. Do the same. I'm gonna eat this food. I'm gonna figure something out. Okay. Eat your food. Wait. Wait. Chris. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't want to say this in front of Sabrina, but I had one of those dreams again. Uh... Come on, Chris. I, I know I have a lot of dreams. But this one was different. I'm serious. Listen. Talk to me. Despite all of the racial tension between the police station, the communities, or whatever other kind of bullshit is happening, I need you to make it your business to come back home to your family, no matter what. Hey, hey. My family? It's my first priority, you hear me? And you, Officer Jones, you make it your business to come home to your family. Try to go be a good cop. There's not many of us left. I just stopped by to see my daughter. You are very yeah, disrespectful. Nigga. Just chill out. Yo, don't be calling no bitch, man. What, nigga? Yo, chill, yo, chill. Yo, fuck that nigga. Yo, 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 I'm not looking for any problems, man, but that's my girl. Hey, you, you, come here. Let me see some ID. Okay, you come here. Let me see your ID. I got him over here. Put me over there. I got him. I got him. What's up, nigga? Come on, man. What's up? This is doing too fucking much. Back the fuck up. I got him over here. Bitch ass. What the fuck you doing? Do me a favor, put your hands against the wall. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Spread them all. You guys have anything on you? Show up in your pockets? Nah, yo. You got any uh, weapons? Nah. Any illegal drugs on you? Nah. You're positive. Nah, nah. Turn around. What's your name? Sebastian. What grade are you in? Senior. This one's on me. Next one's on you. Yeah, he's good. He's good, too. All right, beat it.
Hey. You seen this? Another young black male dead in his 20s due to the lack of training and accountability. Oh, it's incidents like this that make me scared to get my kid a cell phone. Mm-hmm. What's up, Rivera? Hey. Susan. Hey. Chris. Who you got in the Eastern Conference this weekend? Oh, come on now. You didn't have to ask me that. I'm going with Kyrie all the way. <laughs> Counting your blessings too fast. Toronto is hunger. Yeah. Hey, you might be on to something there. I'm for the Warriors. <laughs> I love me some salmon curry. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Am I feeling some bets coming on, or am I just feeling pure hate? <laughs> Put up or shut up. Oh, I'm just saying, you want some of this? Yeah. Let me run. Hey. Did you hear about that mistaken cell phone shooting? No. Yeah. It was bullshit. Yeah. Hey, you just have my money right here. Yeah? <laughs> Let me get up out of here before Sabrina and Jackie put an APB out on me. You got that right. <laughs> See you later. Later, Bye. Are you going to go with Curry? I need to see some ID. Hey. Yo, Chris, what's up with your peoples, man? What, are you trying to be fucking funny? Calm I look down. like I'm trying to be funny? We are hey, calm. calm down. I'm a cop, all right? So what you stopping this for, yo? Call coming from Central? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm asking the fucking questions here. Do you have ID? Oh, OK. Oh, I see. I see what this is. You're one of them, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm one of them. Uh -huh. Give me the fucking ID. Hey, no, hey. Now, Chris, just show these motherfuckers your ID so they right, can get out of here. Everybody just. You better down. shut you your ID. fucking mouth. You know, hey, you, you, know you think just because you got a badge lets you talk to people like that? Gives you the merit to speak with people like that? Yes, it does. I got ID in my car. Now, I'll get it right now. Just calm down. Detective Chris Jones was shot. Yes, yes. Uh, do you know? It's on the second floor. Okay. okay. You go right through the doors, please. Do you know if he was wearing his vest? He's an officer. He should, he should have had on his vest. You can't tell. You can't call anybody and ask. No. information did they give you? How long, how long do I have to wait again? How, how long? How are you feeling, Mr. Jones? a lot the last couple of days. Your body needs some rest. You do need some time off. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. well, I think you're getting a lot better. You just need some rest.
What are you gonna do about this motherfucking nigga cop that shot my son? Okay, you need you need to keep your voice down. We don't address our officers by color, but by last name or rank. I can see that you're angry, but so are the Jones family. They are both cops, and they are both in our prayers. Now you need to go to the hospital, be by your family's side. They need you more than ever now. We tried to resuscitate him, but his wounds were fatal. No! No! Well, we can fix this. Niggas know the whereabouts, the where to be, the where to be the fuck at. Homie, I'm trying to fix this shit. You feel me, little son? Well, check this out. If you're not in both flags, is the new suicide, then let it ring. Because I'm not going to keep standing by and keep letting these hot crackers keep having open season on us. I'd rather dare stand on my feet and live on my knees any day. You follow me? Well, if we do this right, then we both is all shooters together than anything else. You feel what I'm saying? Let's do the negotiations on that part, big. Got you. All right, who? Hey, yo, Blue, man. Why you bringing this red ghost slob up in here, man? Hey, yo, chill, man. You house train, little poop? Yo, chill, dude. You gotta understand, it's the color you're wearing that incites the bull. Y'all already know what this is. It's only right we sit down and put our flags to the side and create a truce. Especially with all this shit going on, these police keep killing us out here in these streets like this. All right, Crip. Because you got to know we wouldn't be here if it was any other option. I wouldn't want to have to. I got people all over, man. Yeah, OG is no, man. He know, he know me. He, hey, <laughs> that part. So what you say is now we got a temporary truce? I mean, I know we're on y'all side. Y'all say, cool. You know, when this shot over here, translation, I'll say, boom. Dude, tell the rest of the set. Hey, yo, will you trust this nigga? Yo, you ain't got to trust me. I'm Mr. the word out. Because the word out is like word out. Boom. That part right there. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I could. All right, God, no whoop gang. These is bloody shoes. Fuck that nigga. Yo, cuz, I don't trust that nigga, man. Fuck that. Nigga, crazy. A source tells us this could have been a case of mistaken identity, but either way, this entire community is on edge. Joining me live now is Regina Clark. Regina, you witnessed this all. What can you tell us? He deserved what he got. They come in our community, they kill our young black men, and they walk out without a scratch. But not today. Everybody was yelling and telling him not to shoot and that the other guy was a cop too, just like him. But because he was black, he didn't want to believe it. It was self-defense, if you ask me. Oh, thank you for that. As you can see, Roy Motion spilling out here into the streets of... Daddy, do it. Cups hit black people. <sighs> Baby. Baby, come here. Be careful. Uh, now, where did you hear that? What make you say that, Sabrina? My teacher asked, how is your father coming along? And then my friend Peter said that white cops don't like black people. Your friend Peter, he's wrong. Now, Mommy and Daddy would not be cops if that were true. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, you know what, Sabrina? Sometimes um, 
when people are afraid, sometimes they, they act out in anger and it affects how they um, deal with other people, right? And then um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they hate the person, but just sometimes people act out of fear. Do you understand? Okay. Well, go brush your teeth. Get ready for bed, okay? Okay. Night night. Love you, Daddy. Love, Love you, Tim. Love you, baby. Did you hear that? This is crazy. Do you see how this is affecting our child? How are we supposed to raise a child in this climate when we're the boogeyman? This is ridiculous. Or some like we some kind of racial group that doesn't like people for their differences and beliefs and, and cultures. I tell you what though, I swear to God, I'll quit this force before I let it dilute our child. And the social media don't make it no better. Let me go get her situated. Sorry for your loss. You've come to the right place for support. I want to show you something, and you give me your take on it. What do you see? And what comes to mind when you look at this? I see your niggas and specks. We see the same vision. Yo, you know where that come from? <laughs> Knowing the creator. But you on some real shit? That shit happened so fast, I thought I was a dead man. Yeah, I heard. My man's in the out of Jamaica. Fam was killed by one of them devils. He said they tried to say homie went for their weapon. That's the reason they killed him. Some bullshit, I'll tell you that. Yo, I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. Yo, you know what? I'd rather be judged by 12 than to be carried by six. You feel me? Mm, feel real you. talk. Real talk. <laughs> Nigga, what you mean, real talk? Your dusty ass ain't about nothing but stealing the coldest beer out the Arab store. Come on, nigga. Yo, chill out, man. Yo, this is some serious shit. What other option we have left for us? You said yourself you'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. Yeah, man. That's a fact. What else y'all getting into, though? Got some hoes on mine. <laughs> I had a lot of shit on the mind. Nah, seriously, though? Yeah, I'm getting sick and tired of these pigs, man. Yo, look, I ain't no killer nothing. You know I'm a working man. But I'm a man first. That's what's up. Ain't nobody gonna save us but us. Yo, this shit got to stop, man. For real. And I think we gotta do something about it. I'm ready to do it with you. He's gone. Don't do this. I can't either. But we gotta hold up for mom. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Let's 
Mom? Upstairs. And Josh? He's up there too, acting weird. Mm. All right. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go talk to Josh. I'll be right back. No more liquor. Bye, you're here. Okay. Hey, what did I say? No more liquor. Okay? Yeah. I promise. What's up? What are you doing? I was watching that. What were you and John whispering about at the hospital? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about, you no. fucking selfish prick. Let me tell you something. Mom had to bury one son because of his fucking ego. Don't make it two in the same fucking week. You don't think I don't know what John's up to? He's mind fucking you. You done? I got more to say to you. You bring any fucking pain into her house, any more than she's been through, you bring any trouble in here, and guess what? I'm gonna be the one who fucking turns your ass in. Oh, you want revenge? You're a fucking man. It wasn't about me, it's about him. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You gonna bring him back? This is the stupidity that fucking got him killed in the fucking first place. What are you gonna do? Get yourself fucking killed. Is everything all right in here? Yeah, it's okay, Mom. Yeah, Mom, we were, uh... We were just, uh, getting st stirred up. We're talking about the good old days. Good morning. Hey, John. How you feeling? I felt better. Let's get this started. My name is Jerry Rifkin from Internal Affairs. This is Lieutenant Michael Rulin. Please state your name, rank, and precinct you're assigned to. My name is Detective Chris Jones, 115th Precinct. All right, Chris, can you tell us what happened on the night of June 16th? Yes. Um, a friend and I were coming out of a bodega where we were approached by two plainclothes officers. How'd you know they were plainclothes officers? One was wearing badge beads around his neck. Hmm. All right, go on. Detective McKenzie, rest in peace, approached me. Though they were both asking for ID, Detective McKenzie seemed overly aggressive for it to be our identification check. Then I spoke in code to his partner and I asked him if a call had come in from Central. He glanced over at me as if he knew the language. That's when Detective McKenzie remained stoic and things got confrontational. You said confrontational. What are you referring to? The friend that I was with stated to me verbatim Talk to your fucking people. Detective McKenzie must have felt that he was directing his frustration towards him. That's when he stated back to my friend, watch your fucking mouth before I crack you in it. I stated to him, you think that badge grants you the merit to talk to people that way? Detective McKenzie's face remained aloof as if he had already made his future decision. While all of this is happening, I'm still looking for my ID. I tell him that it must be in the truck across the street. He glances over it, but to no avail did any of them take the initiative to validate my reasoning for the identification delay. At 
that time, his partner, he's, he notices my back of weapon and he yells out gun. And I said to him, I'm a cop. Don't shoot, I'm a cop. That's what I said. Detective McKenzie takes out his firearm and he fires two shots at me, one hitting me in my body arm and the second one penetrating in my hip. I then return fire, striking Detective McKenzie while I'm on the ground. Two shots. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we close out this interview? I just want to send my condolences out to his family. All right. We'll bring this interview to a close. Time is now 11.14 a.m. Has anyone got word back from Chris? Today went for his ID interview. Oh, that's right. Yeah, not today. We spoke yesterday. They said we'd all come by to cheer him up. Hey, you guys see how they're riding in different cities because an armed black men are being killed? Fucking crazy. It's scary because there's so many good cops out here honoring the badge. Yeah, it's true. It may sound crazy, but the good ones are looked at even worse than the ones abusing the badge. And that's because we turned an open eye instead of doing something about it. Look, don't get me wrong. Some of these perps that we arrest, you want to turn an open eye and put your hands and feet on them. Yeah, I agree if I was into that type of force. Those would be the ones that are your rapists and molesters. If you don't kill them. Yes, true. You know, it's a gift and a curse. Hey, what time are we heading over to Chris's? I need to get home to prepare dinner. Uh, let's meet up like 7, being that it's Friday. Okay, great. Sound good? See you guys later. All right. Get home safe. Yeah. Oh, my God, I still can't believe what happened. Yeah, it's bullshit. That it is. That it is. You better not violate, though. I'm telling you, man. Straight up. Yo, man. I don't know why. I don't think we even got to fucking wear this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, man. Who gives a fuck what you think, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Listen. Nigga, I don't, I don't agree with half of this shit out here, but I listen. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Yo. What's up, cuz? <laughs> What's going on What's with you? Man? Just trying to stay sucker free, that's all, you know? Yeah, that's all you can. All right. All right. All right. What's up? What's good, man? Would your brother Swab come home? He still got about three to do. Man. Short. Man. Three? That's what it is. Shit. I'll be home soon. I know your ass was shook when them shots ran out, though. <laughs> <laughs> it take you to say something like that, right? But to answer your question, you damn right I was. I'm a working man. I used to have guns and shit pulled in my face, especially by the motherfuckers that's supposed to protect and serve me. You feel me? Nigga, I don't feel you. You don't want to fuck that shit, nigga. I know, nigga, I know. You already know, nigga. Good morning, sir. I have something for you. You can't be serious. First degree murder. Do you love your job? You know what? Ponder that before you answer. Then bring me a real case. You know they're talking about trying to bring charges up against you, right? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> My lawyer told me something like that. Also told me not to worry about it. I don't get it. 
If this were vice versa, it would have been considered a friendly fire. Yeah. You both are cops, come on. All I can say is that today is a new day. Is it? As long as you address your deepest sympathy to the McKenzie family and make peace with God, everything else is the feeling that will eventually go away. Amen. Yeah, that's true. So, how did the Heidi briefing go? Better than I anticipated. Yeah, you know the drill, you know? What happened before the fatal shot? What they really wanted to know was, at what point in time did I state that I was a cop? That's exactly what they wanted to hear. Everything else was circumstantial to the ears. You know it. Yeah, I'm just happy you wore your body armor. Yo, well, you're gonna have to thank Jackie for that, because she makes me wear it. Oh. Everywhere besides bed. Damn right, because you never know. Well, I'd say she just pulled a point, huh? Enough said. It's, I'm, it's just ridiculous because, you know, we take this job with the notion to protect people. But then we, as cops, have to come home and hear our child ask us, do white cops hate black people? It's crazy. That's what she said to us the other day. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. And yeah, now that hurts. And what's sad is that. Not every white cops have those hateful feelings. The moral of it all is that we have a job to uphold. Mm -hmm. and before we go out there and perform our duties, we get down on our knees and we thank God for waking up. That's right. We kiss our loved ones. And we tell ourselves at the end of the day that we are gonna make it home one way or another. Yeah. 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 You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's getting late. Yeah, I agree. Check in. It's always good to see you. Uh, let me up, let me up. Uh, uh, let me up. 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 We are gathered here to praise God, to witness to our faith, and to give thanks for the life of our dear brother Peter. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, says the Spirit for they rest from their labors and their works follow them all the days of their life. Are there members of the family who would like to offer any last words for Peter? He wanted to make a difference. How proud he was to serve as an officer in the New York City Police Department. You will be missed, my son. And now, people of God, as we go forth upon this day and upon this hour, we live into the blessing and the service and the life of Peter. That as he helped and blessed this world, we go forth with the same spirit within our hearts and upon our souls from this day forward and forevermore. Amen. Come along. Yeah. Okay, Captain. It's one day at a time. It's a sad day for us all. Why are you here? Why? You're not one of us. Detective Jones, is there anything you'd like to say? 
How do you feel about the loss of uh, Detective Peter McKenzie? Do you feel this whole incident was racially motivated due to all the unarmed African-American men who were being gunned down in this country by police officers? Please. You, as an African-American detective, what do you think needs to be done to address this senseless violence against Latino and African-American men by police? Accountability. Well, there you have it. A truly solemn day for one of New York's finest, as both the mayor and the chief of police briefly spoke about the emotional toll this is taking on the community. I'm Jim Hannigan, reporting live. Back to you in the studio. You nervous? A little. Daddy, what is this place? <clears throat> it's a place where uh, cops like Daddy come to be interviewed, buddy. Interviewed about what? About how good we work. Or, or how bad. No, Justin, that's enough of the questions, okay? So Daddy's gonna go and talk to these men, and then afterwards we can go get your favorite food. Would you like that? We don't know. <laughs> that's it. But no more questions. Good morning. Nervous? No. The time is 10.30 a.m., the day June 30th, 2018. My name is Internal Affairs Detective Jerry Rifkin. This is Lieutenant Michael Rulin. Can you state for the record your name, rank, and the precinct you're assigned to? My name is Officer David Mitchell, and I'm assigned to the 12th Precinct. Can you tell us, to the best of your knowledge, what happened on the day of June 16th? My partner, Officer Peter McKenzie, and myself were performing a routine identification stop when we observed two African-American males coming out of the bodega on 9th and 40th Avenue, who appeared to be loud and disturbing. At that point, we jumped out of our unmarked cruiser and approached the two men. When you say appeared to be loud, can you amplify a little more on what appeared means? Sure. They were talking loud. At that point, I started to perform a warrant check on one of the men while Officer McKenzie tried to contain Chris Jones. But within five minutes, Chris Jones started acting belligerent and crazy and refused to surrender his identification. And at that point, I happened to notice his firearm. I alerted Peter, and we both drew our guns and ordered Chris Jones to lie on the ground. At that point, it looked like Chris Jones was going for his gun, and that's when Officer McKenzie fired, striking Jones. At any point in time, did Officer Jones state that he was an officer? No. Are you sure that at no point in time did Officer Jones state, to the best of your knowledge, that he was a cop? Not that I can recall. You stated when you both observed Officer Chris Jones and Jason Johnson, you were performing a routine stop, correct? That is correct. On who? I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. On who were you performing a routine identification stop when you noticed Officer Chris Jones and Jason Johnson appearing to be loud? On no one. That was our assigned patrol duty. I have two more questions and I'm done. Do you acknowledge Officer Chris Jones as your fellow officer? Of course. Why would you ask that? Why didn't you fire your weapon, Officer Mitchell? Excuse me? 
Well, in this report, it states you didn't discharge your weapon. Why? My, my partner had already fired striking drones. I'm sorry, what? Are you saying I didn't do my job? Officer Mitchell, is there anything else you'd like to state before we close on this inquiry? No, thank you. The time is 1040. This inquiry has come to a close. All the stolen bikes in the pile over here. Motherfucker. <laughs> they put police Holy tape on them, too. Look at that. They put, they put fucking, they use our tape. That's from where the guy got shot the yeah. other day. They yeah. took the tape yeah. out to well, him, put it over it. Well, he had it coming. He's fucking He had it fucking man. coming. Nothing over here either. No. Who the fuck nothing. are these guys? No, nothing. We ain't. We got no luck. We're better off getting something to eat. <laughs> You're hungry already? I'm hungry. Something a little while. Hold on. What's over there? All right, that's what's up. Are you gripped up? Hell yeah. All right, just make sure you be mindful. They gonna be on that bullshit till they being at the funeral. So that cop Chris here to sit in. Ah, definitely. I'm on point. All right, that's what's up. Right back. Hey, yeah, like I was saying, make sure you stay on point, man, because the crackers is just out here. Yeah, you're going to hold shit. This is right there. You know, these motherfuckers right here. What are you doing, brother? Yo, what the fuck out of here? Yo, 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 get the fuck off me. Yo, 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 Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's over. Get your man's Back off, my drone. Back off. Fuck you. Take that vest off. Take that vest off. No fucking vest. You is crazy. Fuck you gonna do? That's what I thought. It's coming. Oh, it is, huh? I'll be fucking waiting. You gonna get what's coming to you. Back the fuck up, all right? Yeah, real soon. Finally got your ass. Yeah, we got you now, huh? Where you been hiding, huh? After you. Watch your head. Fuck you. Go ahead. Looking for those guys from the other night. Last night and two nights ago. Same group. They get up around this time. Look at these animals. Look at them. What are hey, they doing on these guys? Are... Do they think they're getting away with anything here? Who is this? What are you guys doing? Take the position. What do you got? What do you got? What is this? What do you have? What do you have? The only reason y'all around is motherfuckers. What are you guys doing? Because of that dead ass lying racist cop. Right. What the fuck did you say? You heard what he said. The only reason y'all around is motherfuckers because of that dead racist cop. Oh shit! Oh fuck him, go! Go get this nigga! It's enough, fucking I'm with this motherfucker. I need backup. I'm 41st Avenue and oh, right you Keep your fucking eyes and nobody's here on the other block. Go, go, go. He ain't do nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, man. 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 Hold on. Shoot me, no, man. No, no, no. Man, he's about to shoot me. Fuck over here on that. Piece of shit. 
I'm gonna wrap her hair? No, she wants her hair down. This is what she wants. Mm -hmm. Sabrina, go brush your teeth before you go to bed. I already did. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Mommy thinks that you don't know her. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, <laughs> the monster like oh. Tell him again. Chris, get up. <laughs> You're gonna hurt her. She's a girl. That's uh, my baby. <sighs> yeah. You know what time it is, right? Yes. Bedtime. Bedtime. Give mommy a kiss. Fine, fine, fine. Good night, sweetie. Good night. Good night. Just give me some baby. Let's see your child. My baby, teenager. This is it. You ready? Not, not today. What? Dude, I went out on a fucking limb for you to get this I said I'm not ready. What are you scared of? I mean, shh, 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 shh. Someone's ready. There's nothing there. Come on, man, come on. All right, all right, fuck it, fuck it. You don't want to fucking do it? Let's go, let's go. Come on, man. Fucking pussy. Let's go, go. Just lights going over that manhole cover. Oh, man. He did say it was a cop before we opened fire on him. Pull over to the right. What did you just say? Hi. Have some registration? Yeah. Can you tell me why you pulled me over? What? Can you tell me why you pulled me over? Excuse me, you're free to go. Okay. Drive safe. Okay. Did you tell internal affairs the same story? No, because we had a beer that night. It was game night. Peter was having trouble at home. And... Look, we pulled over to perform a routine identification stop, but this guy was hitting Peter with questions only a cop would know. I kept looking over at Peter, but Peter was off in his own world, being Peter. He even stated that his fucking idea was in the truck across the street. Did you validate that information? Did you go across the street to the truck? No, because I was calling it a perp I detained. Plus, I thought maybe he just knew those questions, you know? Hey, look, I would have never expected to go the way it did. But by then, it was too late anyways. I... I saw his gun, and I alerted Peter. He was a cop for crying out loud. You both ignored him, and a life was taken. My two families are broken because of you both. All the love to all of y'all. I can tell you. You're back on your feet. I wouldn't be able to do it alone. It's always love. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think you owe me some money. Hey, <laughs> this I guy and his money. Game. I almost forgot. Yeah, I knew I was gonna have to pay the reaper one way or another. <laughs> nah, it's cool. It's glad to have you back. Yeah. Thanks. You ready to hit the bricks or what? Yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. All right. So you guys ready? Yeah, you too. Detective. Hey, cat. It's good to have you back. It's good to be back, Cat. Keep your eyes open. Not everybody's in favor of the turnout. You feel me? I understand. Good. You watch out for each other. Of course, Cat. Get out of here. <laughs> Driver? Can I speak to you for a second? Unbelievable. 
For six months, I heard about how I missed a barbecue. Because I'm working. It's like, God forbid. <laughs> yeah, so you better be there. <laughs> if I'm not there, I'm going to have somebody kicking my ass. That's right. I'm you gonna... know the Korean temper. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back here. I appreciate that. You've been watching the news? What are you going to tell me? Yeah, I watch the news, but not that much. I know. You know what the news will do to you? It'll make you quit this job. <laughs> we don't get enough bad news? Go ahead. What bad news do you want to tell me? It's all over the news that the cop that shot your brother is back on the beat. Yeah. Well, that's good, because he's a cop. He's got mouths to feed. He's got a home to go home to. It's honorable to hear you say that. Don't get me wrong. I love my brother. As much as I honor this badge. But only the people who are there and God truly know what happened that night. It's not honor, it's accepting the fate of our decisions. And I gotta trust in God's will. Surrender, right? Surrender. You know all about surrender, I would hope, right? Surrender. Surrender. I'm trying my best to fucking surrender. And the rest of your family, they're surrendering? <sighs> Irish Catholic families don't know what the fuck surrender means. They're surrendering to the liquor store is what they're surrendering to these days. No, they're doing the best they can. I love them. I mean, I'm trying. They're getting there. It's Josh that I worry about. What's going on with Josh? It's nothing. I just... I worry about him. Glad that Sabrina wasn't here. Where's Sabrina? She's at her grandmother's oh. house. Oh. Can you imagine if she would have been in there? Can you imagine if Sabrina would have been in the house? Got him. Oh my God. Whoever did this left something behind. <sighs> Thank God. That's good. You take that down to the lab right now and you get that checked out. Yeah, ASAP. Look, oh. we're gonna get this motherfucker, okay? Yeah. No. I'm trying to get some lunch. Okay. This is, this is just pure hate. It's okay. It's no, it's hate, man. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. A very 
emotional day for Anthony Williamson's family. We just received word that NYPD officer Michael Garrett will not face any criminal charges in the shooting death of Williamson. He was unarmed at the time when the officer allegedly mistook his cell phone for a handgun. The family members just left court here minutes ago, devastated over these latest developments. For now, we are live outside Queens Criminal Court. Nicole Johnson, back to you. to justice with all the sense of the shooting. Mr. Mayor, did you see the news today? Of course I did. Well, obviously you realize that we have a broken system and people are starting to take justice into their own hands. Now I get it. It has to go through legislation, it has to go through Congress, it has to go through the House, and so on and so on. But Accountability must be a moral obligation to the people, and it must start somewhere, and somewhere has to be right here and right now, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, you're on a 15. Thank you. Congressman, I agree with you. Accountability starts here. And I accept that challenge, and the people will know I accept that challenge when I start to implement change. My moral obligation is to the people of this city. But the fight can't just be by myself, legislature, and Congress. The very people that object to the way these laws are being enforced and governed are the same people that voted for them in the first place. Yes, I, I mean, I'm the first one to take responsibility for my people. You know, I am them and they are me. But the reality is, leadership begins at the top. It starts at the top. And you and I both know, attitude reflects leadership. It's time, Mr. Mayor. Congressman, know that I hear the cries for justice. Mr. Mayor, you hear my cries for justice, but the reality is we feel the pain, just us. If you'll excuse me, gentlemen. Chris, come down here before your food gets cold. I'm so proud of you that you ate your food today. Thank you, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Did you pack my money in my bag for my trip? Yes, I have. You have uh, badgered me about it morning, noon, and night, little girl. It's you're the your best, best, Mommy. Okay, you're the best seven-year-old. Chris! Hey, baby, did you see what I saw? What the hell is knocking at the door like? Officers? Oh. Wait, hey, Chris! Whoa, 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 hold up. Come here, baby. What's the problem? Good morning. My name is Detective Jack Mullen, and this is my partner, Detective Keith no, Edwards. No, I didn't ask you your names. I asked you why you're here. I'm sorry, but we don't make the rules. We have a warrant for your arrest. We respect you as one of us. With that being said, we won't treat you any less than your rank, and we won't handcuff you. What is Detective Chris Jones being charged for? We don't know. Our orders were only to bring him in. That's all we know, Sergeant. That's all you know. <laughs> this is some bullshit. This is, this, you know this is, this is hey, ridiculous. Hey, hey, shh. It's okay. Don't you worry. Look. Hey, don't you worry. You know what to do. Don't touch me. Yo, how you feel about that situation, Jay? Were they trying to give you some stupid-ass payout for some mental anguish or something? Yeah, I wish. Look, 
All he worried about is me never missing a day's work. Yo, you know what my boss had the nerve to say to me the other day? Mm. Watch the people you keep around you, because if you miss another day of work, I'm gonna have to find somebody to replace you. Mm. Typical plantation talk, see? I hate that cracker, word of my mother. And all the scenes, read the newspaper. The fuck you talking about read the newspaper? Everybody know that they lock Chris up for killing that devil? Could they even do that? Ain't he a police officer? Easy, just do it. Exactly. Shit ain't gonna be real it up until we start murdering these motherfucking crackers, man. Start shooting them unknown white kids. Yeah, you ain't never lied. Them some wicked folks. Yeah, I was looking at this Farrakhan video last night, right? Basically, he went on to say how if the legal justice system fucked up, the next step is the result in violence. Man. Listen, I don't never agree with nothing he say. But I can honestly say, I definitely agree with this one right here. Yeah, I yeah. fucks with Farrakhan, man. Yeah, word. Before I got my flag, I had knowledge itself. He was always dropping bombs about racism and them devils. Mm -hmm. But then when his man, Khalid Muhammad, got smoked and he didn't respond, that's when I fell back on him. Yeah, I, I heard about that with the Khalid, and I fucked with Khalid. But that's 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 like me not riding now for the people, man. All right. Never would I do that. Man. All right, cuz, you see? Okay. What up, cuz? What's up, OG? What's up, huh? Cuz, what's up? Zan. Just let me all at you right quick. Come on, let's talk about it. Oh, boy. Daddy! Hey, princess! Woo! How was your day? Huh? Mommy made a surprise for you. She did? Yep, but you have to promise me you won't tell her I told you. Oh, I don't know. You know, we don't keep secrets around here. You know that. Oh. Okay, you can tell me. What is it? What? My favorite. Kimberly, <gasps> where are you? <laughs> I should have known when she disappeared. Hey, baby. Hi. How was your day? Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, we'll get cleaned up. Dinner okay. is ready. OK, I'm hungry. Papa's hungry. Oh, and hey. another thing? Yeah. I'll just tell you at the table. Uh, OK. Kimberly, come. Help me set the table, OK? OK. OK. You didn't tell your father what we made for him, did you? Huh? Kimberly. I tried to keep it a secret, but it's hard. Daddy gets everything out of me. Your father is your kryptonite to Superman? What's that? What's that? That's I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we can eat, it's your turn to say grace. OK. Thank you, God, for this good food Mommy cooked. Oh, and the red velvet cake for Daddy. Yay! <laughs> oh, boy, this looks delicious. And Papa is hungry. Thank you. Can you come in um, my chicken dinner? Sure, just pass your plate. Some dad's a cupcake, and you're the cupcake. Mm, my two favorite women in the whole world, thank you. What you want to tell me? I have nothing to say. I just want to ask you how you're feeling. It seems like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I can tell this guy thinks I'm against him. Try not to let it worry you. Like you always say to me, you have your strategy. Mm hmm But I think in this case, it flares up some extenuating circumstances. Do you got this, babe? At no point in the interview did Officer Mitchell refer to Detective Jones as an officer. 
And two, he never discharged his weapon. Why wouldn't he discharge his weapon? I don't know what to tell you when it comes to that. Yeah, selective memory. You know, a lot of these young cops never screen for mental evaluation. And they've been bullied as kids, or they're just fucking closet racists. Well, it's good that you're the one on the job. And you know, I don't like closet racists. Really? I did not know that. Really? <laughs> Thank you for that, Bobby. You're so welcome. How you feeling? I didn't tell you, Cap. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to be taking that. Cap? No. Nope. Right, Cap, it's protocol. It's protocol. Totally a, conversation is totally off the rip. Yes, it is. I can't sit around and feel like I'm participating in this whole ordeal. It has to stop. You are a great detective. Your safety is my concern. Now, don't get me wrong, my pain goes out to the McKenzie family as well. But there's too much at stake here. So, from this point on, you were officially relieved from your duty as detective. Starting effectively today, you will be assigned desk duty. Something tells me you're going to be needing this. I was thinking about having uh, dinner for the holidays at my place this year. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yeah. What happened to your hand? Huh? What happened to your hand? I cut it. It's no big deal. We good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Is everything all right here with him? Yes. Why do you ask? How you doing, Pop? Morning to you, son. It's not so good to me. Let me get out of here. I love you, Mom. See you later, Pop. He's up on the sugar. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Mom and Pop are pretty uh, blank this morning. No. Peter could do no wrong in their eyes. You know that. He just keeps playing it over and over. It's hard to move on. They're getting better. And you? How you doing? Different days, different feelings. So tell me, did uh, Josh tell you what happened to his hand? Oh, uh, he said something about cutting it on something, but I don't really get into it with him. I get it. Let me get out of here. I love you. OK, I love you. How are you? What's the word on Chris? I know, I know. Me and my husband was talking last night about how easy it can be swept under the rug when they the ones behind the gun. And I love my job. I really do, Lisa, but when it comes to my family, my, my baby, I'm treading. Girl, you ain't got to tell really me. Really treading. I know. It's crazy out here. Sometimes I feel Ready to get this work? <laughs> get this work. You crazy. Get out of here. Hey, Sergeant, what's up? How you doing? What's up? <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Ain't he, though? He's sexy, too. You just gotta love him. 
Look at For real though, you need something, you call me. Watch yourselves out there. <laughs> Safety first. Love you. Love you back. So you have a good day. I will. Head home. Yo, man, you know they getting a little Chris Chris 25 years for defending himself, man? Self-fucking defense, quarter fucking century, nigga. See, that's the bullshit right there. You know what I mean? I find it real funny how they can kill us, shoot black cops and shit like they did old boy, the cops from Queens. That part. And never even see the entrance of a courtroom. Like, what part of the game is that? Yo, bro, pass the blunt, man. I hate how they do us, but... We have to blame ourselves, too, sometimes. What the fuck you talking about, Dad? Why don't you listen? Uh, it's like I said. Them white cops are scared, too. OK, imagine some of them growing up in a white school surrounded by all white students, dreaming of becoming a cop, never really coming into contact with blacks except through the social media and news. Right? Then they pass the cop tests, get dropped into areas that, like ours where people are killing each other like a sport. First person they come into contact with happens to be a flag leader with tattoos all over his face, tripping off of this sour. Why are you looking at me? You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah, I know. You blowing my Listen, no, listen. She blowing y'all because you that, what the, the fucking smartphone dumb you down. Look, this ain't fucking Utah and shit. Some old hick ass shit where there's only two niggas in the whole goddamn state, man. It's the fucking mecca in the culture, all this shit that's out here worldwide, nigga. This motherfucking New York, blood. That's a fucking excuse for them niggas to just be fucking stupid, yo. They want a whole son, all these nuts, nigga. I need something to get on my feet. The best way to get on your feet is to get the fuck off your ass. Blood on that. If blood you don't fight for something, you're going to fall for everything, blood. That's what this truce for. I already beat up that motherfucking truce. I don't know. Anybody got a motherfucking question about it? Anything? I already beat that truce. It's popping like that. Nana. You finished them taters shit, back there? This shit, this shit ain't even lit. Y'all niggas home? Lit. Trigger, you ain't stupid like some people, all right? One thing I can say that speaks volumes to young people and cops is that we can come together. Hmm. That truce slash unity that you have with Croft and them Crips supports that. That shit speaks volumes to people like me, but they're scared of that shit. And you want to know why? Why? Because they don't like blacks coming together. Hmm. Because we're too influential. You know it, I know it. Look at how hip-hop affected their children with listening to hip-hop, dealing with racism. They're not so much scared of the guns that we bust off. They're scared of us uniting. That bitch deep. See that? <laughs> you go, girl. Louis, <laughs> please, you're my bitch. Don't try to impress Trigger because you know. Shit. blood sample that was submitted last week came back inconclusive. So the blood sample is from a human, not an animal, correct? That is correct. The only problem is that person's name isn't in our system. <laughs> that is correct. Do me a favor. Have it run through an NCIC check. Something may come up. Got it. <laughs> you didn't think I fucking had it like that, you got this. Hey, you got this one, partner. See you yeah. outside. I'll see you later. Got you now, fuck boy. Fuck you.
Holy I can't shit, wait. You're like a fucking child. Right, Get the fuck right. out. God damn it. Fucking take a piss every five minutes. Yeah, and just leave my door open. Oh, fucking jerk off. Oh, fuck, man. I'm pissing all over myself. Let's go, dick. <laughs> oh. 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 Let's go. All right, man. Fucking I jerk. Had to fucking... Maybe if we didn't fucking day drink, I wouldn't have to piss so bad. All right, look at this. Look at this, you fucking jerk off. Well, just relax. Look, I'm just gonna tell him my yeah. brother's a cop. They'll get out of yeah, this. Okay. Relax. Let's see if that works. Be cool, man. Relax. You had to go to the fucking bed. You, you can't be a normal human being. Because you know what we got in the fucking bed. What you got? Hey. Looks like we're having a little party here. No, I was telling him that we got to get back to the house for my mother's dinner. That you do. Let me see some ID. License, registration. You, you're pissing on the sidewalk? You see a sign that says fucking bathroom yeah. on the wall? Tell me about it. Oh, no, officer, I'm so sorry, man. I, uh... My brother, my brother's a police officer. Oh, yeah? What's your brother's name? Uh, my, Kevin McKenzie. As in Detective McKenzie? Brother to Peter? Yes, sir. I'm sorry for your loss. Peter was a friend. That was hard news. Yeah. All right, so, so can we go now? All right, here's what we can do. If there's nothing in the car and your identifications come back clear, this never happened, okay? No. Okay, cool. No, no, why can't we just go now? We're already running late. It's still procedure. Step out of the car. We at the 110 uh, sympathize with your loss. Oh, watch out. Here's your back. I need back up on 86th Street and 25th Avenue across Story Boulevard. White male wearing black t-shirt, blue jeans, possibly armed. It's being printed. All right, do me a favor. Take Detective McKenzie over to see Officer Philip. All right. Detective, sorry for your loss. Your brother and I were good friends. Thank you. I appreciate that. What's Josh being charged with? Uh, right now, we didn't put him through. All in good faith because you're his brother. Um, they found two guns in the back of a car owned by a guy named John McIntosh. The car isn't under your brother's name. You see where I'm going with this? I see. Where's John being held now? John took a run for it at the scene. He got away. OK. Thank you. Can I get a minute with him? Sure. Take your time. I appreciate that. <sighs> John planning on doing with those guns? What guns? The guns in the trunk of that fucking car that you both were in. That's what guns. I told you before. You come in here, you bring any problems to the family, and I bust your ass myself. Do you think I was joking with you? I really didn't know there were any guns in the car. Nothing. I, I didn't know. I'm gonna get you out of this one. But if I find out you knew, sit. We have a problem. What's the problem? Your brother has an outstanding warrant. An outstanding warrant for what? You're not gonna believe this. Josh's fingerprints were found at the scene of the detective that's accused of killing your brother. Are you fucking kidding me? The media's gonna have a fucking field day with this. I just found out how you cut your hand. 
What? Notify the district precinct to put the warrant out. You gotta be kidding me, man. What do you want to do about the situation? Charge him. What? Hey! Come on, man. Come on, Kevin! Yeah, come on, man! Some idea on you? I look like a kid to you? Come on now, what? boys. You heard what he said? Yeah, it was Hannah. What the fuck you gonna do? You don't have nothing better to do than harass these kids out here. Yo, you see my man grandmom's out here, right? Damn, That's man. That's somebody's grandmother. Y'all being real to Yeah, she needs to watch her mouth before she gets locked Yo, up, too. Yo, what are you talking to my motherfucking grandmother? Yo, Mel, get my grandmother out of here, man. What the fuck you gonna do? She mean what I'm gonna do, huh? What the fuck you gonna do? Rain, cuz. Yo, yo. Yo, back up. Move out, you want me to shoot this motherfucking guy? Ah! Ah! I need 1085 forthwith. I'm on 40th Avenue and 10th Street. I need backup. Be advised. My radio's stolen. Oh, man, that was all your plan. Why are you sitting that bitch down? Yo, man, who the fuck this nigga coming in here with this strap out? Yo, set that nigga do you breaking the truce, my nigga? What's up? Yo, yo, I'm hit, my nigga. Yo, yo, ah. Get him out of here. 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 Tell me something? No. I think you're a lying scumbag. What the fuck are you talking about? You can tell me now or you can tell the judge later. All right, listen, I already fucking told you everything, OK? You don't fucking tell me now. you never see your wife and son again. You know, fuck you and fuck that nigga cop. Listen, Mitchell, you tell me what the fuck happened on the night of June 16th, huh? Tell me! I already fucking told you everything. I said, tell me. Wait, man. No, you take care of yourself out there today. Huh? Detective, can I talk to you for a sec? Hey, cat. Of course. Uh, I'm sure you already know about the big commotion that took place in your old neighborhood between the 110th precinct and the two rival gangs that rise in the fritz. Yeah, I see where this is going, Kat. To make a long story short, I just got off the phone with the 110th, and they're asking for your help in retrieving the radio that was taken during that big incident between them and the two gangs. Kat, what makes them think that I could get it back? And that's not what they're saying. It's only a request with a strong hope that you'll be able to make that radio materialize for them. You're putting me at great risk, Cap. But if that's what you're asking me to do, then... I mean, technically, I've been relieved of my duties. I'm supposed to be on desk duty right now. I explained that to them. That's one. And two, I would never compromise nor negotiate your safety. You know that. This is, again, it's a request 
all in good faith. All right, Kyle. So that's what you want me to do then. I'm good. Can I go now? Yes. No. Never let the sickness like race or religion of another man's mind be your crutch for deviating from the moral obligation you still hold to that badge. We all took an oath. We all share. Now, I, I don't agree with the, the, a lot of the politics or policies that our badge protects, but I don't make the rules. I just follow it. and just not doing anything about it. Then on top of that, them cops are sitting there laughing at us like they making fun of us. I'm not mad at all. I just wish it could have happened where you didn't get caught. Honestly, once I made peace with God, getting caught was the least of my worries. I'm okay. I miss Michael, but I ain't want him to die in vain, you know? <laughs> Hey, you remember when we was younger and we would go to Nana's house? She would make that chocolate cake and let us mix the icing off the blender. You remember that? I remember. You and Micah used to fight over who would get the bowl. And Nana would, would give it to me, to be fair, by not giving it to neither of you. Only if you knew that I used to start with Michael on purpose because you was the littlest and you would never beat us to the punch. For real? Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's, it's over. Don't go. I have to. Not yet. I have yet. to, man. right? But kiss mommy for me. Hey, it's over. I love her. Okay? They can't break I me. I love you. All right, I'm over here. Right. Only Please God can judge me. I love you. Only God, actually. Remember that. doing this cause of you, Blue. This better not be no bullshit. I got you, see. Well, check this out, my nigga. I don't talk to police. I don't fuck with police. Only reason I'm doing this is because you from the hood niggas say you 100, so speak on it. Now, Croft, I appreciate you taking out the time to meet with me. Now, there was an incident that uh, allegedly occurred between the Crips and two detectives from the 12th Precinct, which led to a man being shot and a police radio being taken. But this shit's about a radio? A motherfucking radio? What, somebody told you I was there or some shit? Hey. What the, is this a setup or some bullshit? Hey, What's hey, going yo, bro, bro, on? Hold on. I'm alone. I'm alone. Yeah, cuz, what I don't get is why the fuck you worried about them crackers' radio so much? Aren't they trying to send you to prison? You know, I asked myself the same question. Why the fuck am I standing with these people in the battle, but I'm alone in the war? And you're right. You're fucking right. God kind of took a note, as you both did. Now, we may not agree with all the things that happened under that color, but we still find a way to protect it. 
which means having a truce with them red ghost bloods. That's to help things along the way. We do what we gotta. I need your help. Either I come and get him, or they gonna come and get him. And you and I both know only two things are gonna happen if they come. That's injustice and injustice. Either it's good for business or for the community. Well, check this out, my nigga. I believe you give respect, you get respect. You got a lot of balls coming here just fucking with me. So I'm gonna do what I can do. I put that on the set. Like I said, thank you for taking the time out to meet with me. Yeah. I think we done. Keep it moving. You listen to this. Check this out. I had an idea that he was a cop once he asked us, why did you stop us? And did a call coming from Central. He said he was a cop the whole time, wanted us to go get his wallet from the Jeep across the street. Lying fucker, huh? <laughs> Got that scumbag. You heard it. I'm demanding a dismissal and for my client to be placed on full active duty effective immediately. So. All charges are hereby dropped and you are placed back on full active duty as a detective effective immediately. Hey, thank you for being there for me. I'm trying. Detective Jones, are you planning uh, on filing a defamation of character lawsuit against the city? Down, um, no comment at this time. Thank you. What, if anything, did you learn from all of this? Say so. I can. Uh, you know, I, I really enjoy being a detective, and despite all of our differences, okay? And most of all, our legal justice system works once we hold them accountable for their actions. Anything else you want no, to share with you. us? No, thank you. Excuse us, please. Thank you. Detective, detective. One more question. to its full moral or political or even social maturity until racism is totally eradicated. Well, it may be true that morality cannot be legislated, but behavior can be regulated. It may be true that the law cannot change the heart, but it can restrain the heartless it may be true that the law can't make a man love me, but it can restrain him from lynching me. And I think that is pretty important also. And so while the law may not change the hearts of men, it does change the habits of men if it's vigorously enforced.
teeth to comprehend. We try to act so perfect, but it's all pretend. We feel alone in this world to realize we've got friends. But in the moment, we latch on to what we're feeling. It's about the people are scared to travel through. Why are we so scared to just be true? You gotta find the strength to just be you I know it's hard but it is something you gotta do So I'm just gonna love myself No, I don't need nobody else Cause I realize who I am is enough So I'm just gonna love myself Wanna see all the good in me, make it come alive, feel my heartbeat. I don't wanna be so perfect, I don't wanna feel so desperate, don't have time for that. I just wanna see where my mind will go. With this confidence, only time will show where it is my life is going. Cause I'm focused on my own thing, moving on my track. I'm not scared of some setbacks. Cause I know that I can clap back. I don't need approval to feel beautiful. I don't need to change myself to fit a mold. I'm not caught up with them boutiques. Cause I am special, cause I'm unique. I don't need to feel accepted. I hope you get the message. 